As I introduce this session, why do we give to the Foundation? I wanted to first say that I believe that Rotary International without the Rotary Foundation would just be another service club. But we are very unique, and it is for this reason that the Rotary Foundation is recognized as the best charity in the world. Of course, Rotarians worldwide and from our club who give generously to the Foundation enable Rotary International to fulfill its vision and who help to define its uniqueness. So the question is, why wouldn't we support the Foundation? That is what this presentation is all about. Before we start, I would like to share the goals for this particular session. I'm going to start with a video, Why Would I Give to the Foundation? Followed by, what is the value of your contribution and that of our club? How is your contribution enhanced? Why is the Foundation recognized as the best charity in the world? Why would Rotarians trust the Foundation? And how are you recognized for your contributions? And we'll conclude with another video entitled, Why Give to the Foundation? We are about to welcome back Russ and Jim, who have already been at several of our firesides. This video will focus on why we fund the Rotary Foundation. Mr. Jim! Hey! Hey! Uh, what? Happy oh. hour time! Oh! Russ! Russ! Oh! Wow! <laughs> there you go! Oh, thank you! Oh, you don't mind that kind. I, oh. like, uh, I like this kind. Um, you know, I, I like... I like coffee. This is a whole lot better <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, That's right. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Well... It's a spot. Well, huh, thank you yeah. again for mm. spending time with me. Mm. I appreciate it very much. Oh, happy to do it. If happy you have to do this to do with it. everybody yeah. that's new, oh boy, you're you're staying pretty busy. Well, that's yeah. a lot of beer. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of beer, but somebody's <laughs> got to do it, Russ. You know. <laughs> okay, somebody's so I've learned about I yeah. learned about the Rotary Foundation. Yeah. Tier F. Okay. Tier F. I've learned right. about the uh, the Polaris Society and, uh. and Paul Harris and uh, and so. Uh, I ask you the question, why this as opposed to all the things I could give to? That's a good question. That's a good question. You know, um, there are a lot of good charities and, I, you know, we, we live in, an, in, in a place that we're, we have a lot of awful, awfully generous people, Rotarians and non-Rotarians, and there are a lot of great charities and uh, uh, most of the Rotarians I know uh, give generously to the Rotary Foundation, but they give to a lot of other mm -hmm. worthy charities also. But there aren't many, I don't know if there are any, quite like the Rotary Foundation. Why do you say that? Well, uh, first of all, let's think about this. Let's think about this as an investment that you're making. Okay. You know, most organizations, you make an investment and you're not allowed to trade on inside information. You probably know that about the securities laws and so forth. In Rotary, we're insiders. We not only invest, we get to direct the investments mm -hmm. and uh, we get to know firsthand where that money is going through our direction That's of true. our projects. Mm -hmm. and, and so that makes it really quite unique. And the other thing that you have to understand about uh, the Rotary Foundation is, I don't know, are you familiar with Charity Navigator? Not Charity really. Charity Navigator is a nonprofit uh, uh, organization that ranks uh, charitable organizations in terms of their financial uh, ability uh, and their transparency of governance and so forth. And they have a hundred point scale and they rate all these different entities. And uh, uh, as I say, there are a lot of great entities, but you know, they, on the hundred point scale, do you know what Rotary, the Rotary Foundations? Mm -hmm. 80. 7580? Nice try, but it's 100. 100.0 100. 100. Oh my gosh. Out of a possible 100. Are there very many that are rated 100? There are very few that are rated that way. Okay. Uh, a couple of years ago, CNBC, the business uh, uh, cable network, uh, had an article, 10 charities that are changing the world. And Rotary Foundation oh, wow. was right up there toward the top of that list of charities. Uh, so it's a very unique and powerful organization. And again, we're the insiders in that organization. You know, and that's it, what makes it special. When I think about changing the world, I think in terms of beneficiaries. So yep. 
how, how do we think about the Rotary Foundation from the standpoint of the number of beneficiaries it helps? So, so say, say, you know, say we raised money in our district last year, or, or three years ago, I guess, and uh, so how many beneficiaries did it help? Uh, on the small grants, we had uh, approximately 43,000 uh, people. On the larger uh, global grants, we had approximately 425,000 beneficiaries of our project. Just w this is one district in one year. Wow. Yeah. So we made pretty good return on investment of the money that we uh, raised. Huh? We made a fantastic return on investment and we benefited an awful lot of people here and around the world. Well, I think that's great information and uh, it sounds like it's a great organization. I guess uh, I'm not sure how much I should give. Maybe we need to talk about that a little bit. Well, maybe another beer is called for. Sounds good. All right. In the video presentation you just viewed, you heard about the impact that the district that Russ and Jim belong to had on people in need throughout the world. And as Jim stated, this is common in every district, including District 5060. Our club, from donations of our club members and the funds raised by club volunteers during fundraising campaigns, have been responding to humanitarian needs throughout the world, benefiting many people, particularly children in need, in places like Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico, and Nepal just in the last year or two. But keep in mind that it is our donations that provide the funds for the matching grants that determine the amount of matching grants available from the district and from global funds to match our club's co commitment for a project. In the current Rotary year, the recent Nepal project valued at 73,806 US dollars was developed and approved with an investment of only 6,000 US dollars from club funds and additional funds from partner Rotary clubs, all because of matching grants from the district and global funds, for which each of us who contribute to the annual fund of the foundation finance. Another way to recognize the impact of our donations is to consider the purchasing power of a dollar when providing services and aid within a developing country. Many of the services we take for granted in Canada can be acquired or implemented in a developing country for considerably less than when, what it costs where we live. And we need to remember that most of the labor involved is provided by volunteering Rotarians in the host country. Fortunately, it's easier than ever to make a difference for those in desperate living situations. By giving even modest amounts to the foundation, we can make a significant lasting difference for hundreds of children, youth, and adults. And what a blessing and privilege for us to be able to share our gifts with those who have little or nothing. As a donor to the foundation, you will be pleased to know that the impact of your contribution can greatly increase for a number of reasons. As Jim stated in the video, 50% of your donation comes back to the district, which uses the funds to match our club's contribution to a project on a one-to-one -one basis. In essence, as a club and as an individual Rotarian, you have input into how that money will be spent, as Jim noted in the video presentation. The other 50% of your donation goes to the World Fund, which is also used for matching grants and is therefore available to our club if we meet all of the necessary guidelines. From 2015 to 2020, matching grants of 1 million Canadian dollars per year were available to Rotary Clubs in Canada, provided they were for Rotary Global Grant projects focusing on five of the six areas of focus, but excluding projects for peace and conflict resolution. Fortunately, our club was able to acquire a grant that matched the total of our club and district designated funds for our Nepal project from the government fund, which provided an extra $26,000 Canadian, which increased the amount we were able to attain from the global grant. By partnering with other clubs in our district, our contributions even have greater impact as we are able to complete more projects with clusters we can also increase the impact of our major projects by increasing our project goals and by increasing the number of people benefiting from the project. 
Whether a club initiates the project or piggybacks on another club's project, one way or the other, as Rotarians we do have a say in how we will spend our own donation and our own club's contribution to a project. At times, our club or cluster of district clubs can attain a partnership with another local, national or international not-for-profit organization to increase our financial ability to develop and implement, as can the host club, that is the club, in the country where the project is located. Our contributions are definitely enhanced because our administrative costs are almost nil. Using volunteers to fundraise, develop the projects, implement the projects, and volunteers to supervise and evaluate the projects greatly enhances the impact our dollar of contribution can make. Or according to a John Hopkins Center for Civil Society Studies research document of 2019, Rotarians contribute nearly 47 million volunteer hours each year, worth an estimated 850 million U.S. dollars to communities around the globe. There is no other foundation anywhere in the world that has the means and the ability to bring about these contributing enhancement approaches, and therefore provide each of our Rotarians contributing to the foundation the best we can ever get for our buck. So, why would you trust the Rotary Foundation with your money? Here are several reasons that you might consider. Clearly, the Rotary Foundation has a well-defined and outstanding vision and goals that have been a pillar of the Foundation since it was founded in 1983 and one that is out there in the world and is easy to understand and accept. The Foundation is also constantly working to ensure that its mission is fulfilled with successful, sustainable programs that have measurable outcomes. The Foundation, with its focus on the six areas of focus, with the seventh area coming on stream in July of 2021, along with disaster relief, definitely responds to the major humanitarian needs that are facing our world today. Often charities simply provide relief aid, which for the most part is not sustainable. What we do through our projects is provide developmental aid which provides long-term solutions where people gain the means to do something for themselves so they are not dependent upon others. The process leading to sustainability starts at the community level where the community identifies the need and develops the solutions involving the leadership of key community members and local Rotarians, thus ensuring local ownership. Sustainability also includes the guarantee that the project will be based on clear and measurable outcomes and the establishing means to conduct a thorough review and evaluation. The Rotary Foundation empowers people to carve their own paths of poverty, the basis of sustainability. The Rotary Foundation maintains strong financial health managed by highly reputable investment advisors. When necessary, whether it is due to increased grant requests, changes in investment gains or losses, or decreased donations from Rotarians, the Board of Trustees makes changes in how grants and services are funded as a means to continue with a balanced audited statement. Furthermore, the endowment fund which you will learn more about at a future virtual fireside session, guarantees that the funding will be available in perpetuity to continue to be a highly effective foundation in the future. The foundation is highly supported by volunteers at all levels, at the club level, at our district level, and within the foundation organization itself. When people are actively engaged as volunteers, there is constant oversight of the activities of an organization. We can put our trust in these volunteer Rotarians as they have the same values we have. There is no end to the examples one could give to illustrate the level of success the Foundation has had since it first came into existence. Just consider the success of our club's international projects over the years in such countries as Ethiopia, Uganda, Honduras, Guatemala, India, El Salvador, Haiti, and other countries, and think about how many children, youth, and adults have been given a chance to have a healthier and better life. The fact that the Foundation is supported and held in high esteem by Rotarians worldwide, by major partners such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, 
the World Health Organization, and even our own federal government speaks highly of the level and record of success the Foundation has achieved. It is virtually impossible to quantify the full power of our Foundation. Even if we could, numbers alone would never tell the whole story. Clearly, if the Rotary Foundation did not have a global outreach with over a million professional and community leaders working together to collectively transform the world, the Foundation would not be able to carry out its mission effectively. Considering that without a Foundation that bridges cultures and connects continents, Rotarians would find it difficult to champion peace, fight illiteracy and poverty, promote clean water and sanitation, and fight disease around the world. Today, Rotary has a reach greater than the United Nations. Rotarians have impressive networks and vocational expertise that when added with grassroots knowledge and resources from our Rotary Foundation equals impactful and effective projects. I had earlier expressed that Rotarians and their clubs make the decision as to how they will support and where they will support humanitarian service through financial contributions to a project, whether a local or an international project. Additionally, our club members can make recommendations as to where a project should be carried out and for what purpose. Furthermore, our club Rotarians can take leadership in developing and implementing the project. The Foundation has a small staff of very reputable finance advisors and managers with the addition of volunteers who have provided dedicated service for years. Positions of leadership within the zone and district are also filled by volunteers who have proven their ability to provide effective leadership and who are very dedicated to the operations and work of the Foundation. Stewardship is a fundamental element of the Rotary Foundation and for that matter every member of Rotary International and we can be confident that accountability and transparency will prevail at all times. To this end, stewardship means using our donations and our club contributions responsibly, adherence to policy which provides grant quality and ensuring that the projects will make a difference, all the while maintaining open communication between sponsors and TRF. Thank goodness all communication, decision making, implementation and follow-up does not involve senior government intervention for the most part. The exception is that in some cases local governments will be involved in partnering with the host Rotarian Club in a project that affects the community at large. The Rotary Foundation continues to maintain low administrative costs ensuring that 92 percent of the donations received are used for the programs of the Foundation. Of the 8% that is used for other purposes, one half is used for fundraising and the other half is the actual administrative cost. The final reason why I and other Rotarians trust the Rotary Foundation to use our donations is because the Foundation is recognized as one of the best charities in the world, if not the best. For instance, in 2017 the Association of Fundraising Professions recognized the Rotary Foundation with their 2016 Annual Award for an Outstanding Foundation. The award honors organizations that show acts of charitable commitment and leadership through financial support, innovation, encouragement of others, and involvement in public affairs. In 2020, the Rotary Foundation earned Giving Leader Status from Global Giving, which was founded in 2002 as a not-for-profit that supports other not-for-profit organizations. The award was presented to the Rotary Foundation for demonstrating active engagement and or effectiveness by listening to the people they serve, learning and improving their impact during the past year. For 13 consecutive years, Charity Navigator has rated the Rotary Foundation the highest level possible, a perfect 100 score. Charities which reach this level execute their missions in a fiscally responsible way while adhering to good governance and other best practices that minimize the chance of unethical activities. TRF received perfect scores for its financial health and its accountability and transparency. Regular donors to the Rotary Foundation, above all else, give with a sense of trust knowing that their contributions will have great impact because of the professional way the Foundation uses these funds. So, now we want to hear from some of our own Rotarians 
who give generously to the foundation year after year. And we're going to do them one at a time. We have, I think, five or six that have uh, agreed to share their, their thoughts on this. Scott, who has been a member with our club since 2018 as, as a sustaining member, has these words to share with you. As a thoroughly new member to Rotary, one of the things that attracted me to Rotary as I did research was not only the local reach and support, but the global reach Rotary has. Foundation projects are larger and commonly partner with other organizations to power up every dollar. These projects are primarily targeted with measurable results. We often take what we have for granted, and any help in any form and anywhere is good help. Robin Durant, who's been uh, with us since 1991 as an active Rotarian, a major donor, level two, Paul Harris Society member and a benefactor, had these words to share, and I think that Dean is going to read this out for us. I can do that. Okay, Robin says, I joined Rotary because I was very impressed with the bold vision of Polio Plus. After joining, I became aware of many other health, hunger, and humanity, humanity Rotary international projects, and what an impact they were having. I visited the Amreli project in India, and later another water project in Ethiopia, and while doing so, I recognized how these and many other projects required generous support. Rotary is exemplary, so I plan to increase my final financial contributions to the foundation because the need is even greater with each year. Mamie joined the Rotary Club of Kona Sunrise in 2018 and in her short time with us has supported the Rotary Foundation as a sustaining member. Since Mamie could not join us this evening, her words will be shared by Club Foundation Committee member Leslie Monroe. So when, when I joined Rotary in 2018, I didn't pay much attention to what the Rotary Club's foundation actually did. At that time, I just wanted to connect with like-minded local people to extend my network and to volunteer at local events. After participating in Rotary Learning <laughs> Institute two years ago, and also after having met with Linda Franson, I learned many facts about how the donation funds were used and how they multiply amazingly. I never thought this could happen anywhere. I believe that the need is great either locally or beyond our community, especially now with the COVID-19 pandemic. Through my contributions to the Rotary Foundations, I can address both. I am supporting projects close to home and in far off lands. I am also comforted knowing that the Foundation does a sup superb job of managing the funds with more than 92% of contributions supporting programs. The Rotary Foundation is constantly working to ensure that its mission is fulfilled with successful, continuously reinvented and sustainable programs that have measurable outcomes, earn more and to give more through Rotary, where the money I donate will not only be used for these projects, but will multiply by four times through the different grants. Without the Foundation, all of this fulfillment in such reachable situations and with such success would be impossible. Moreover, the Foundation's mission inspires me to earn more and to give more through Rotary, where the money I donate will not only be used for these projects, but will multiply by four times through the different grants. Without the Foundation, all of this fulfillment in such reachable situations and with such success would be impossible. And Colleen has uh, shared hers uh, verbally. She's uh, been with us since 2017. She's a Paul Harris Plus Two already and a Paul Harris Society member. And uh, we're going to learn just a little bit more about that as we go forward in this presentation. Uh, hi, I'm Colleen McEwen, uh, part of the Sunrise Rotary. I've been a Rotary member for a couple of years now. And very early on, I found out about the Foundation and what they do. And I realized Rotary Foundation you know, provided grants and things that were world and how to sustainable plan and how to support different um, initiatives that really focus on women and children and helping communities and I had been looking for many years actually to find a organization that I felt confident in donating to that had low administrative over cost and good ethics when it came to investing money in small communities and when I found out the foundation I was super pleased to find that that was a great way to donate money and so I've been doing it for the last couple of years and I plan to continue to do it for many years to come. 
Thank you, Colleen. Alisa uh, Tasker, who just joined us in March, so not even a year. She's already a sustaining member and really believes in the foundation, and she left these words. My husband and I have always believed in giving and supporting charities. Even our mantra with our children included, spend a little, give a little, and save a little. We believe in contributing strategically. Last year when I joined Sunrise, I wasn't very interested in sending funds to the Rotary Foundation since we thought that we would be sending Canadian funds to an American organization to distribute. I changed my mind after listening to presentations from Linda Franson and Brenda Bell. I heard about our club getting money from the Rotary Foundation to fund a school in Nepal and bringing water into communities in third world countries. The process used to choose projects and the effect we can have through working as a team is huge. My husband and I are tickled to have found a great charity that is effectively managed, does great work, and is well established. We hope to mesh our other passion, travel, with doing service abroad sometime soon. We are pleased to have Randall Bamford at our fireside this evening. He has been a Rotarian since 2005. He is a Paul Harris Society member and has achieved a Paul Harris Fellow plus eight. He has agreed to share why he supports the foundation with us this evening. Randall, are you ready to go? Yeah, I am. So okay. uh, yeah, I joined in 2005 in Squamish. Didn't know much about Rotary or, or why I was even getting involved, but I was told it was a good idea to do as a manager of Save On Foods. And I quickly realized what a great organization it was. Um, the foundation came up in a lot of meetings. I had no idea what uh, what a foundation was, uh, let alone the Rotary Foundation. And as I became to get a little bit more educated on what it was, um, you know, I I, I thought it'd be it'd be great to give to that foundation. Um, I, I was impressed with Rotary and the local projects that we did, but I also wanted to do something that helped the world. And with the foundation, it really seemed that I could connect to something bigger than just my little community. So um, I decided, um, I looked at the, the criteria to be a Paul Harris uh, a recipient for the $1,000 US. And I thought, you know what, I, I think we can do that as, a, as my wife and I discussed it. And we decided to put some money away, it worked out back then to about $100 uh, a month. And uh, we went for it and we got it, which was great. And um, I've been in lots of different clubs and try to try to do that every year as much as I can um, as I've moved around a lot. So I'm proud to be a Paul Harris Society member and giving to the Paul Harris um, Society every year uh, to, the, to the foundation. Um, my donations lately, or I guess in the last five years, have gone mostly to the um, to the annual fund that uh, can benefit my district and uh, and the club itself. As I, I really see that uh, as we get more involved in in the grant writing, that there's a huge benefit to the club as well. So, for me, the foundation um, was a was initially just something I did because. The other Rotarians in the club were doing, but now that I know more about it and like this presentation here, you know, I, I feel that it's very worthy of uh, my donations. So I'm going to keep donating to the Rotary Foundation. Yeah. The Foundation Committee wishes to thank Scott, Robin, Mimi, Colleen, Alisa, and Randall for sharing their inspiring thoughts for supporting the Rotary Foundation. The Foundation Committee wishes to thank Scott, Robin, Mimi, Colleen, Alisa, and Randall for sharing their inspiring thoughts for supporting the Rotary Foundation. As we near the end of this third session, I would like to briefly share a little bit about the Rotary Foundation Recognition Program. As you are aware, all Rotarians are recognized for their generous contributions to the Rotary Foundation. Interestingly, the importance of recognition with the Rotary Foundation goes way back to 1957 when Rotary established the beginnings of the recognition program to encourage and show appreciation for substantial contributions. Early Paul Harris Fellows received a certificate of recognition and in 1969 the Foundation unveiled the first Paul Harris Fellow medallion. The Foundation Committee wishes to acknowledge and thank the many Rotarians who have achieved a Rotary Foundation recognition level. 
A Rotary Foundation sustaining member is an individual who contributes US $100 or more each year to the annual fund. At present, the club has 24 sustaining members for this Rotary year. Paul Harris Fellow recognition is given in appreciation to anyone who contributes or in whose name is contributed US $1,000 or more cumulatively to the annual fund or to the Polio Plus Fund. We have a total of 17 members who have achieved a Paul Harris Fellow. Four of those are honorary members. Multiple Paul Harris Fellow recognition is given at subsequent $1,000 US levels. Rotarians who receive a Paul Harris Fellow should continue to support the Foundation through their giving to attain multiple Paul Harris Fellow awards. As giving to the Foundation or being recognized as a Paul Harris Fellow is not a destination, but only the beginning of continued support for the Foundation. The information we have indicates that seven members have achieved a Paul Harris Fellow plus one, five have achieved a Paul Harris plus two, four have achieved a Paul Harris plus three, three have achieved a Paul Harris plus four, one has achieved a Paul Harris plus five, and one has achieved a Paul Harris plus eight. The Foundation recognizes individuals or couples whose combined giving has reached $10,000 US regardless of the gift designation. This recognition level can be achieved only through personal contributions and not through recognition points. There are six levels of recognition from 10,000 US to $1 million US plus. At present, we have 11 members who have achieved a major donor status. The Paul Harris Society recognizes individuals who contribute at least $1,000 US each year to the annual fund and the Polio Plus Fund. Nine members are Paul Harris Society members at the present time. Recognition is also provided for benefactors and Bequest Society members who make a provision for the Foundation's endowment fund in their estate plans or by making an outright gift. You will learn more about the endowment program at another virtual session coming soon. The brief video you are about to see will illustrate how and why we celebrate giving to the Rotary Foundation. In conclusion, I'd like to say that when I contribute to the Foundation, I am left with deep satisfaction that provides me with positive energy, knowing that through the work of the Foundation, which I fully trust, I have made a difference for another human being in the world. I recognize that I have been truly blessed, and I know that the Foundation provides me with the opportunity to share those blessings with those in desperate living conditions around the world.